Hey there, Paul Backash here with a nylon guitar string kind of shootout. Uh, it's kind of comparing apples to oranges. However, uh, I think it's important to do just to see uh, the value of an inexpensive guitar versus a very expensive guitar. So what I'm referring to first, the expensive guitar is the Godin Multiac. Uh, which is a $1,700 guitar. It has the 13-pin connector, which really drives up the price, but that's great for using synthesizers while playing and having two separate levels, one for the guitar, one for the synthesizer. Um, then I have this Yamaha, which is a, um, I want to say it was probably about a seven to $800 guitar when I bought it back in the day, which I record with this one, all the rhythms and they sound amazing uh, but I found that playing live is a, is a uh, problem because of the hole. You get a lot of feedback and when you put a plunger in it blocks the mic that's in here. Now this guitar has two, um, two ways of amplifying the sound. There is a piezo pickup in the bridge but there's also this uh, actual mic pickup here and it sounds a lot better and actually you can blend the two which I do. The problem is is there's an awful lot of feedback so that's why I owned this one first and playing this one at shows became so problematic that I had to find a guitar and I did. I found the Goat uh, which I love but the problem is if you break a string it the shows halted until you change strings and you know, I play primarily electric guitar with bands, and I always bring a second, if not a third, guitar. So if I need to, I break the string. Swapping out guitars, putting in the wireless, is is with 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, so I can do it during a song. Uh, this, to change strings on an electric as well, I don't know, nylon, uh, the traditional way, uh, is a lot more time consuming, plus the strings take longer to stretch out. So if you break a string at a show, you're going to be retuning that replacement string constantly because it's going to take a good day and a half to two days to, to actually stretch out where it's not going out of tune anymore. So uh, what I've done for the Godin is uh, I bought ball end nylon so that if I break a string, which I have, I, the E to a and the high E have broken. So if you can see, uh, those three are ball end and the others are the traditional way. Uh, so it's just much easier, much quicker. Anyway, so this guitar was my chance to have a solution at having a backup to the Godin without spending another $1,600. I thought about getting go in without the uh, 13 pin because I don't need two synth guitars but that's still I think about eight nine hundred dollars so I found this guitar on Amazon it's by a company called Bullfighter and I'll put the link up this guitar was a hundred and eighty five dollars which when I saw it I said this thing has got to sound like crap because you just can't get a nylon to set. You could get you could buy a hundred dollar Korean Strat, and it'll sound fine if you put it through a good amp and a good pedal board. You can get some great sounds out of it. But a nylon string, because it's always clean most of the time, uh, you hear all the tonalities and the, the nuances. And if they're not there, it's just going to sound horrible. So I said, you know what? Thanks to Amazon's free returns, let me try it. So I bought it. I got it in three days. Uh, by the way, it's it's good to note that they make it available with the traditional nylon headstock with the banjo style tuners, but they also make it available in a Telecaster headstock with nylon string guitars. So I thought that looked kind of weird. So I opted for the traditional headstock so that it looks in style with my other nylon string guitars. Anyway, so all this has is a volume and a tone, okay? Um, so let's just turn it up and 
See you all the time. For 185 bucks, um, I will say that it's a great guitar on its own. But when you play this one, and I did this past weekend, I performed with this, and then I said, you know what, I gotta give this thing a try. I put this down, I picked that up, I played a couple songs, I was like, wow, this is a huge difference. So when you have that comparison, it, it really makes you not enjoy listening to this as you're playing it but when you just play it by itself uh it's really it's it's a great guitar so i will keep it and i will recommend it as a backup or as maybe a beginner to intermediate if someone wants to get into the nylon game if you're like an electric player it's a good it's a good guitar to get into without spending a significant amount of money. And then if you decide that it is something that you enjoy doing and you're making money playing it at places, 
then you can invest in in a, in a guitar that I mean is meant for that kind of stuff. So um, before going, let's do the Yamaha just so you can get that third comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to play, that's the example. So that was the microphone just feeding back. So now let's see where we can get it that's playable. I'm going to roll off some of the lows. The problem is as you roll off the lows to reduce that low end frequency feedback, uh, you lose some of the richness in the sound. Now remember, with those two guitars, you're only really hearing what's coming out of the speaker. With this guitar, you're getting the, the natural sound, like if I turn the volume off. It's, a, it's an acoustic, so it projects, whereas those two won't. The, go, the Golden gives you a slight bit of a projection because they kind of hollowed out the inside in order to help with that, but it does not compare to something like this. But then again, you got this issue. So there's, um, this has a high and a low, two different knobs for tone. And then it has, um, this is the microphone volume. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. It's a little microphone with a with like a wind windscreen on it. And then this a master. It's just not playable. It's in the room, the level that's coming out the speaker is so low it really drops dramatically just to keep it without to keep it from feeding at a level that it won't feed back so you can see how this, these aren't the problems you want to have at a gig you don't you don't want to be dealing with this. So I'm inching the volume up. So there you have. It. So um, what I will say is that is this bullfighter a Godin? No, definitely not. But is it a viable nylon guitar that you could play at a gig? Definitely. I was definitely surprised at that. This also comes with a gig bag. Uh, it came with a strap, came with a tuner, a clip-on tuner, came with uh, two guitar cables, two. Uh, and it came with um, picks and a set of strings. No name, not a no name brand. So for $185, uh, this is an awesome beginner guitar and even a good intermediate guitar. So uh, I give this two thumbs up. I think it's worth buying for the price. But if you're only going to buy one guitar and you know you're in the nylon business, whether it be Latin or classical or it's jazz standards, whatever it is, maybe you want to invest more money in a Godin. Right? They're great guitars. Um, so that's really a personal preference, but I, get, I definitely recommend this for anybody who either needs a backup or a good beginner who wants to start playing. It's, it looks cool. You know, it's a Telecaster body. I have not looked in here, but I will uh, be willing to bet that there's a battery that needs to be 9 volt 
that needs to be replaced. The Godin has it. The Yamaha has it. All these guitars with the piezo pickup are active and not passive. So they need some type of source of power. So uh, I'm sure that's the case. I don't, if that in that being the case, I'm not crazy about the fact that it's a screw on because that means I got to screw uh, these to get to the battery. Whereas those two have a little clip that, and it pops out. It's in a separate cavity from the wiring and the uh, electronics. So that is a minus. With that, um, I guess I'm going to plug it in if I'm going to plug it in. So with that, I will say go out and get one if you want a nylon. You won't be disappointed based on the price. <laughs>